Hey everybody, it's Polar Trek teacher Lucy Coleman and I'm here at McMurdo Station. I wanted to give you a little tour of the station. Um, it's about 10 degrees Fahrenheit out here, but I think the wind chill puts it at about minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, yeah, so let me show you some things around, here, around the station here. In the background, um, you can see Crary Lab and Curry Lab looks out over McMurdo Sound right here. So um, in the background you can see um, some sea ice and across the way you can see the McMurdo Dry Valleys, which is where those mountains are. Um, we've got a helicopter that's about to take off from the heliport over here. Pretty soon we'll be going out into the field on one of those helicopter rides and we're really looking forward to it. Here's um, some piston bullies. This is how people get around when they want to drive around um, on snow. Those are the little square boxy machines there. So I'm all bundled up. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to take you with me. Going through a little room here that's an industrial kind of staging area for us to get all of our supplies ready to go out into the field. If I step out the door to Curry Lab here, I can show you that big building right there is the cafeteria and main building of the station. It's called Building 155. The brown tall buildings over there are dorm rooms. And the building right over here with the big I don't know, globes on top is the communication center. That's where we'll get our radios to and satellite phones to go out into the field. Okay. All right, so went on a little hike on the road away from uh, McMurdo Station next to the beautiful sign marking our place. Um, in the background over here, you can see Observation Peak. And over this way, we've got Mount Discovery and Black Island and here's the sea ice. Looks like there are some little snowmobilers down there right now. If we look over to where these green buildings are over this way, um, that's the New Zealand Antarctic base. It's called Scott Base and um, it only houses about 40 to 60 Kiwis over there um, and it's part of Ross Island. So we're actually on an island right now, um, very close to the continent, um, across the sound. Um, kind of that way are the dry valleys where we'll be going in a few days.